All right, so welcome back to uh, the one class stream. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your math teacher for the session. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at probably uh, questions predominantly in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and also in pre calculus as well. So these are kind of our questions that we're focusing on for today. Uh, for the next hour, I have about 11 questions that we can go over. Again, if you're tuning in for the first time, thank you so much for watching. What we're doing here is that we are... Um, we are working towards verifying solutions uh, in high school subjects, such as in uh, math and in chemistry, particularly in the secondary school level, as also and also in the college and the university level as well. Again, my name is Joey. I am a currently a uh, secondary school educator uh, in Ontario, and my te teachable subjects are uh, chemistry, and I'm work currently working towards my math teachable as well. So uh, let's get started for these questions for today. So let me load those up for you. So this, my first question here says that find the numbers at which f is discontinuous. At which of these numbers is f continuous from the right or from the left or either? So let me just, um, let me, I, I don't know if I can download these guys here. Let me just see if I can download both these images here and open those up for you. Let's see if I got, okay. So this is the question here. This is find the numbers at which f is discontinuous. At which of these numbers is f continuous, uh, f is continuous from the right or from the left or neither? So let me just write this down first. This is question one here. I'm given this f of x here, or some function. This is going to equal, um, basically, we know it's a piecewise function, right? So it's x plus one if x is less than or equal to one. It's one over x if one is, if x is between one and three. And then finally, it'd be square root x minus three if x is greater or equal to three. So we have these three, uh, we have it, three have a piecewise function here. It's asking us if f is continuous, discon find the numbers at which f is discontinuous, at which of these numbers is f continuous from the right or from the left or neither. So uh, basically what we're gonna, what we, what we see here is we're going to look and break this down into three parts. We're gonna break this down into three functions. So our first function, our second function, and our third function. So our first function here says that x plus one or f of x equals, our function f of x equals x plus one if x is less than or equal to one. So therefore, when we're checking for discontinuous and continuous points, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sub in one here, and we'll sub in one here for this equation as well, because we the numbers we care about are basically the points in which it could be continuous or discontinuous. So we care about this one value here, we care about this, three value as well. So we're going to basically check for two points here. So if I'm, if I'm going, um, if I'm subbing in f at one here, I'm going to put, say, f of one, this here is going to equal one plus one. So f of one here would be two, right? f of one here would equal two. And then finally, I could also check in uh, to prove that if it's continuous, it's discontinuous. I can plug in f of one for the second function here, because it's stating if uh, it's, the function is one over x, if it's between one and three, right? So I'm gonna see if it's actually approaching uh, this point here, which is one and two. So I'm gonna do this in black here. And I'll, this is my, fu my second function is one over x if uh, it's between uh, one and three here, right? So plug in f of one here equals one over one which is f of one here equals one. So as you can see here, both these guys here, f of one and f of two here, these guys here are different points. I have a point here, which is uh, two and one, and I have a point here, which is one and one. So therefore, this uh, the point the point here, uh, sorry, this is two, uh, this is one, two, sorry, this here is one and one. So therefore, because these two points are not the same, therefore, um, when x equals 1, it is going to be a discontinuous function. Uh, so basically discontinuous, or I can say if x equals 1, it is discontinuous. If it was a continuous, um, if it was continuous, both of these points would be the same point. So they would connect evenly, but in this case, it's a discontinuous function. So finally, uh, we checked for f of one. Now we have to check for f at three here. So we have, again, we're gonna use basically equations two and three to figure out if it is a continuous point. So I'm gonna use equation two again um, because it's f of x equals one over x if uh, it's one between one and three. I'm gonna put one f of three here. It's going to equal one over three. So this is here is my first point. 
And then finally, I'm going to check for three here if it was the third function here, because then uh, it's going to actually exist at x equals three here. So the point that's actually going to exist. So it's f of x would equal, I think it's uh, square root x minus three. x minus three, if x is uh, greater or equal to three. I'm putting in f of three here equals three minus three equals root one which equals one so f of three here equals one so therefore my terms here my points here i have three and one third and i have three and one here right so as you can see both of these guys here are indeed um discontinuous here so again i have both points here as you can see they don't match up so therefore i can say that at x equals three this point is also discontinuous so at x equals three it is also discontinuous so therefore, I can say that if x equals 1 or 3, both points are discontinuous. So the answer is saying find the numbers here, so uh, where f at f is discontinuous. As you can see here, they plugged in uh, the 1 and 3 into the piecewise functions. And as you can see, f of x is fully continuous between 1 and 3. However, it is discontinuous between at 1 and 3, there are discontinuous points, right? So therefore, uh, we uh, basically at every other point besides uh, 1 and 3 here, the, uh, the function here is continuous. So you can say that the solution is correct. Solution is correct. Uh, they didn't really show uh, the mathematics behind this like I did, but it's fine if, uh, because they described it as well. Solution is correct. Uh, great analysis. You can also say that... Uh, at x equals 1, 1, and 3, the at, at these points, f of x is discontinuous. Discontinuous, and you can say, I think I misspelled discontinuous, uh, at other points in the function, the function is continuous. Something to add that, and this solution here. Thank you.